Welcome to Assess Garage. This is Matt Mormon. Today we're going to product focus on labels. Uh, one, why, and two, how to install. And just to preface this before we get started, this is our probably third iteration of labels. They're still not perfect, but they look darn good. We'll talk about all the pros and cons here as we get into it. So there are two types of Presol bottles that these labels apply to. One is the 500 milliliter household sprayer in either blue or translucent. Uh, the other is a 750 milliliter in either blue or translucent. Uh, notice I've modified this bottle, putting an industrial head on. Uh, make sure to go check out all the documentation on Presol stuff on ObsessedGarage.com as well as on our shorts channel and then the main channel, the main Obsessed Garage channel as well if you want some more information about these. Today's video is about the labels. So these are foil backed, satin finish, really, really smooth, really pretty freaking amazing looking labels as you can see on the bottles next, next to us here. This is an example of a 750 milliliter label that we're gonna to apply to a used bottle, a bottle that I've been using for many months. I'm gonna show you how to prepare that. And then if you were to order the kit, you can buy these individually. Uh, or you can buy them as a kit or a package. Uh, this is how it comes. It comes in a card stock, you know, uh, envelope uh, that uh, you would peel back. This is the 500 milliliter version. Just slide the labels out and you get the full 16 label kit uh, that you can get on the, in the Obsessed Garage store. So what do you think we should do? Let's do matching tar remover and a 500 milliliter and a 750. You can see the size difference. So let's do new bottle first. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the top off. I'm gonna get myself a microfiber towel. So when you're looking at the bottle, there's two sides. There's the side with the Press All logo, and then there's the side next to the, uh, the bottle seam. Uh, that, uh, that is completely open and empty. That's where you're gonna apply your label. So first thing I'm gonna do is inspect, make sure there's nothing sticky on the bottle, nothing that could deter our label from, from it getting a proper adhesion. So then I'm gonna prep the surface and I'm gonna use a surface prep uh, called uh, G-Technic Panel Wipe which is quite a bit more aggressive than uh, something like CarPro Eraser or a diluted isopropyl alcohol. Uh, so I'm gonna use this to prep the surface first. Making sure I'm removing any oils, any residue, any sticky stuff. Even on a new bottle, I wanna prepare it. Now the con to this. These labels are really designed to be installed in a heat treated uh, factory like factory installed environment. We're putting these on in our home. Um, we're still working on, uh, on adhesives to make sure that uh, they don't bubble up. Um, but we do have, like for instance, you see here, it's probably hard to see, but my interior cleaner has a little finger. Uh, no matter how hard you work at it, some of them still uh, still have a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, bubbling and things like that that will happen if it sits for a really long time. So just keep that in mind. Depending on when you're watching this video, we're always working on new versions of this. Uh, again, this is our third or fourth iteration, probably our 50th sample, uh, and uh, we're working on you know, making this a DIY process uh, as much as we can. So then, what I do. You can try different things like spraying slime or glass cleaner or water. I don't like to do that method. I like to clean it and then heat it a little bit. I'm going to take my label, peel back the label, I'm going to heat up the label a little bit. And then this is where the fight begins. I'm gonna line it up on my seam. The 500 milliliter bottles are a little easier to do. I'm gonna line it up using the, the bottle seam, which is hard to see with all these lights in here. So I got it started. I'm gonna heat it up a little more. And then I'm gonna work my label onto the bottle 
a little bit at a time. If you rush it, you'll end up with bubbles. And so I don't like where I put it here. I want to move it this way a little bit. So the good news is I can still pull it off and be safe. I'm going to heat my bottle back up. Somehow I got some hair on there. You could use water to float it. I like to do it this way. The bottle's still got a little heat in it, so I'm not going to heat up the label. But just know, I'm going to be very transparent with you, you're going to have to fight for this. This, I don't know that will ever be extremely easy at some point in the future. We hope to be able to offer pre-installed solutions where we have a heat treating machine. But you don't want to rush this here. You want to take your time, work the label on. If it were me, and I was going to spend 300 bucks on 16 bottles, I'd buy two sets of labels, but that's just me. Because chances are you're going to screw one of them up. Nice. Wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do it without having a bunch of bubbles. Again, disclaimer, what you may find, you come back a day or two later, and you'll have some fingers that you have to push down. Sometimes this works perfectly. I would say 25% of the time it doesn't, and I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, what, how the, you know, what, what, you know, how the bottle came off the assembly line. I'm not really sure. We're still working on finding a, an adhesive solution that works on every single bottle 100% of the time. But I'll fight for this. Look at how freaking good that looks. So there's your 500 milliliter bottle, with the tar remover label on it doesn't get much better than that. So that's the procedure I use to install the Obsessed Garage bottle labels. Uh, again, uh, you may have to fight for this. Uh, I would suggest that you uh, buy a couple of sets of labels, that way you have some extras. Uh, but I do think you can do this. You can see I'm two for two. Uh, I think you can do this if you follow this procedure. Uh, you can also experiment with some other procedures if you have some experience installing things like paint protection film or, uh, or vinyl wraps or stickers in general. But the idea here is to have a matching set of sprayers and bottles with matching logos and then you, affording you the ability to put your favorite products from many different brands in the bottles and have a matching set. Available at SuscaRage.com. Thanks for watching.